origin software go to the file folder here i have total five data plan, data files select drag them to the origin software now this each file open into separate sheet it also called as a book select any one of them if you move your cursor on the left hand top corner then you can see option for the plot if you click over here it will show us various way through which we can plot this data so the best in this case we want to use a line plot if you go to the left bottom corner you will see a line or a scatter plot so click on the line and you will see a graph now in this graph y axis is the intensity and x axis is 2 theta if you go to the left top corner you will see a number 1 that's a layer 1 move your cursor on the layer 1 and right click go to the layer content the shortcut key is f12 click on the layer content now a window will pop up here it shows layer content add remove group order plots so this is a layer 1 which is this and these are the data which are in this folder or in this project the second one is 500 click on the arrow pointing toward the right add plot then 600 do the same 700 repeat it 800 okay now you got all the data file in the layer 1 so select them group it and click on okay now we can see all the data plot in the same figure you can go to the right upper corner and here it shows option for the rescale or uh, the shortcut key is control r click over here now we can see all of them but they are overlapping with each other what we need is vertically stacked again you can go to the left bottom corner and here you can see option stacked line by y offset so if you click over here it will automatically stack the data in vertically offset format now here this number become meaningless because it's vertically stacked so double click on this number this window will pop up in this case uncheck this box so once you do this one and apply so now these numbers become invisible now go to the fourth option that's a line and trick click on this one here i want to use a major trick there are four different way we can show this one in out or none so i just want to show is none so click the none and the same thing for minor trick again none and i want to apply this style for the both left and right axis so click check this box and apply similarly click on the bottom here it shows shows line and ticks for the bottom go to the major ticks in minor ticks in use the same option for both bottom and top check this box and apply now we don't need this one so right click and delete over here is a 2 theta so if you select it type 2 right click and it will and go to the symbol map in the symbol map we can see various symbol what we want to use a theta select that one and click on the insert close in the bracket write down the unit so is a deg Uh, why showing as symbol format is because of the font which is chosen to be symbol so select the text change font to arial and it will change to now is a 2 theta degree if you want to increase the size of this then just go this and select the size that is 36 if you want to change the size of this one select the text go over here i will choose the 24 okay now what do we need to do i need to change i want to give the name for each file so the black one is 400c you can directly type over here 500c 600c 700c and 800c now here c means degree celsius so i need a symbol it's a dot so right click go to the symbol map in the symbol map we can see uh, or here so that's a symbol for degree c and insert close copy the symbol 
and paste it. Again, I don't want to see this box. So if you want to remove the box, right click and go to the properties. In the properties, you can see an option for the frame. In the frame, select none. So once you say none, apply, the box will disappear. Now here we can see uh, it's not easy to put this box inside the plot. So what we can do, we can change the dimension. How to do that one? Press the shortcut key that is F2, the dimension. The width right now for this plot is 10.72 and the height is 8.205. So let's change this width to say 8 and height to 10. Or maybe for that I will use width as a 6 and height as 10. Okay and click on apply or you can just click on the ok so this way it will change the height and width second thing in the axis bar I just want to show data from say 15 to up to 42 so double click on the scale go to the scale and type the number from 15 to 42 or say 45 and the value is Five major trick value minor is one click on, click on the left go to the scale and change this number to say one two zero and apply okay now you can move this inside and reduce this size to say 18 click on the data point and you can go over here and change it to that is the width of line so change to 2 once you have done with everything you can go on the left hand left hand side uh, and the top corner and enable disable anti aliasing so enable it once you enable it the data looks very smooth if you want to see the difference if you disable it you can see the data doesn't look so smooth right so enable it right click and copy page control j you can go to file and export graph control G if you click on export graph so here you can choose the file format I prefer to use JPG and file name is a XRD and the folder where I want to save right now folder is on the desktop so I'll choose the desktop okay and here in the at the last you can see image setting in the image setting you can choose the resolution so dpi resolution is 300 or 600 both are acceptable for the research publication so i choose 600 and then click ok you can go to the file save project as and i want to save this on the desktop xrd save it yes you can close it you can see the xrd this is exported Thank you for watching this video if you like it do share and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon button